Tomorrow is the seventh day of Passover, which commemorates the miracle of the splitting of the sea 3,334 years ago. And tomorrow in synagogues around the world, we will all rise and sing the song of Az Yashir that their ancestors sang after the miraculous escape and the splitting of the sea. And the question is, what is the relevance of this story to us 33 centuries later? You know, the word impossible could be broken into two words. I'm possible. The message of the splitting of the sea is that nothing is impossible. You see, in 1954, there was a man by the name of Roger Bannister who broke the four minute mile. But something amazing happened. After he came in at three minutes, 59.4 seconds for the first time ever in human history breaking the four minute mile barrier suddenly just weeks later others started to break in the four minute mile and many many others have done the same to the point that today the record is at three minutes 47 43 seconds 17 seconds less than what was perceived as the impossible why is it that after Roger Bannister broke the four minute mile, many others were able to do it. And the answer is that up until then, it was believed that physically, physiologically, the human body could not run a mile in less than four minutes. But after Roger Bannister did it, people started to change their mental perception of what's possible. And once they believed it was possible and knew it was possible, they were able to achieve it as well. And so too in all of our lives. Many times the greatest obstacle to our freedom is not the reality, but our perception of the reality, what we believe is possible or not possible. And that's the miracle and the message of the splitting of the sea. Our ancestors were trapped on all sides, the sea in front of them, the Egyptians behind them. They were frozen with fear, but suddenly they found the faith and the courage to forge ahead as Moses told them to. And suddenly, miraculously, the sea split and a path opened up. And the message is that sometimes we think there's no way out, we're trapped in this situation. But with faith, courage, and fortitude, we can open up a new pathway because if we believe it's possible, it is possible. So much so that the metaphor of the splitting of the sea represents the re revelation of all that lies beneath the sea. Every person has a sea of potential beneath the surface. But just like till the sea split, you cannot see what lies beneath the sea's surface. Till we split our own personal sea, we cannot reveal and see all of our own inner greatness and potential. The splitting of the sea is a metaphor for all of us to not allow any obstacles to prevent us from achieving our destination and our goals in life. You know, I once read something amazing that you can actually train flies by putting them in a jar and closing a lid over them. And at first the flies try to get out of the jar, but they keep on hitting their heads in the lid. And so they train themselves and they learn to not go higher than the lid and not hit the lid. And the flies fly around the jar, but they never go as high as the lid because they don't want to hurt themselves. But here's the amazing part. Even after you remove the lid, and the flies can go out of the jar. They continue to fly around the jar, never going beyond the lid's height. Why? Because they've learned to believe that there is a lid and they cannot go any higher. And even though the lid is no longer there, their reality, that's as high as they can go. So many of us have been taught that there's a lid, there's a roof, there's a limit to how high we can go or how deep we can go. The message of the splitting of the sea is don't believe in your limitations. The final days of Passover teach us that freedom is not enough to be physical. It has to be emotional, psychologically, and spiritually free to believe that anything and everything is possible.